Economists around the world are struggling to break free of the clutches of the financial crisis, but a 12-year-old Canadian knows what needs to be done. Victoria Grant took the internet by storm overnight after a video of her slamming Canada's banks for robbing the people went viral. What I have discovered is the banks and the government have colluded to financially enslave the people of Canada. When a bank gives you a mortgage, which literally means a death pledge or a loan, they don't actually give you money. They click a key on a computer and generate the fake money out of thin air. It has become painfully obvious, even for me, a 12-year-old Canadian, that we are being defrauded and robbed by the banking system and a complicit government. What will we do to stop this crime? Well, we've got internet sensation Victoria Grant and her mother, Marcia Grant, on the line from Canada right now. So, Victoria, I watched all of your speeches quite long, so can you just very briefly tell us what's been bothering you about Canada's banking system? Um, well, what's been bothering me is that our government has been borrowing money from private banks and putting us into debt and they're not doing anything about this. So they're just standing by and watching the private banks make us pay compounded interest. Well, clearly you understand what's happening there in your country. Do you have any solutions for the world's economic problems? Um, my solution is that we stop borrowing from private banks and we start borrowing from the Bank of Canada with little to no interest. All right, but okay, now you're just 12 years old. Why do you think you understand what's wrong with the economy, that you have the answer and world leaders don't? Well, I've been researching and watching documentaries and um, like reading books and it's not that hard to understand once you start researching and um, like world leaders, they probably know what's happening. It's just they're just they're not doing anything about it. Why not? Do you think? Why don't they care? Um, I think they don't care because they're benefiting from what they're doing to us. All right. Now I know your mum's sitting next to you, Marcia. How do you feel about your daughter becoming an internet sensation and now even talking to global news channels like RT? Well, it's been, um, it's been quite exciting. We never knew when this project started what would happen with this. We didn't actually dream that this would happen, but it's exciting. It's exciting that we're getting people talking and doing their own research. Um, whether they agree or disagree, they're at least uh, listening and um, exploring. Well, uh, Victoria, as I said a little earlier, I saw your presentation. It was very impressive. Uh, I suppose a lot of people ask you this question. Did you really come up with all these ideas yourself? Um, me and my dad have been watching documentaries, so I'd be taking notes and then, you know, like we'd write it down and then we put it into my speech. So this is the so, sort of thing you've been discussing. Like we you've been, so you've been discussing this with your dad and clearly it's something that has really taken your interest by storm. And, and you feel that you, you definitely have a message to, to tell not just people of your generation, of your age, but, but the whole of the world from what you're understanding now. Yeah. All right. Now, thousands, of course, people around the world will, will, will have seen you explaining what's wrong. Uh, what about you yourself? Y your mom's obviously pretty excited by all of this, but what about the attention on you now? Uh, it's been amazing. Um, I, I like that so many people are watching it because they can get information on, on what's happening and they can try and tell other people about it. But some people of your age might say economics, finance, all boring, isn't it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> but what do you say to them that's actually important for our lives? Um, well, it's important because if something really bad happens, you know, like, we could grow up, um, like, living with just, like, one meal a day if this keeps getting worse. What about them when you grow up? What are your ambitions? Do you want to be an economist? Do you want to be a prime minister? Um, well, I want to be an interior designer, but I'm definitely going to keep studying um, monetary reform. 
So you're going to be interior designer. So you're creative as well as uh, having a financial mind as well. Well, we wish you the best of luck in your career. Thank you very much indeed, Victoria Grant, and also Mother Marcia Grant, joining us live there in Canada. Thank you.